Okay, hello everyone. Today I'll be showing you my MacBook collection. And yes, these were all free. So, these were all from school. Uh, someone I knew fixed them up, a couple of them up, and uh, gave them away. Gave the ones away he didn't want. Fixed one up for his uh, girlfriend, and then fixed one up for himself, and I guess one up for his parents or something like that, and that was it. Then I got all of these for free. Okay, so first up, we have... Okay, actually, this one has a battery, so... Let me just go ahead and plug it in the next one down. This one should be right up. No ding. Uh, the reason why is because the uh, volume's down. Most of these are still in the original restore screen. I, I restored them to factory settings. This is where locked the passcode. I got them all restored. Cleaned up. Nice. Scrubbed them all. Yeah. And now here they sit. I don't, I don't use any of them. I, I, yeah. Uh, I'll eventually sell these more than likely. And anyway, I only have one charger for all of these. Since a person gave me one charger. A different person with one MacBook, which is all beat up over there. Uh, which I got that one. I put all the broken parts inside of that MacBook right there. And, uh, yeah. It always asks for a password in mine, so. Hold on. It shouldn't. Oh, my gosh. There's a password. I feel so stupid right now. I don't remember putting a password on here. One, two, three, four. I don't know. What the crap? I have no freaking clue. It just... It has a password all of a sudden. Okay. That password did not work. I, there, no, there's no way I would have used a password on here. So I don't know where this password's coming from. Is there a cancel button? I I don't know. I I never added a password to this. I guarantee you. I never added a password to my MacBook. Never. It even says uh, my name, uh, computer nostalgia, which is not my name obviously, but it's my YouTube channel name. I, I don't know. I'll try my YouTube channel then. No. Okay, well then what about... Let's just type in password, because that was actually one of the MacBook's passwords that I got. No. I, 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 I never added a password. I guarantee it. So I don't know. I never added a password to this MacBook. So that's what I don't get. I, I never added a password. I, I... I'm taking way too long in this single MacBook. I'm dumbfounded. I don't understand. One, two, three. I have no clue. I know I would have not made this my password. I never would have made a password. Escape? Skip? Is there something? I never added one. That's what I don't understand. Is it defaulting to... I, I have no clue. It's not even like I can go, oh, well, I made all these passwords, so let me just test it. No. I know my password, and I know I never put a password on my MacBook. On this one, anyway. I, I know it. I never put a password on it. So that's that's why I'm dumbfounded. I don't understand. Second MacBook. This one, same thing. These are all 2008. These are 09s, which are all work. 
Over here, I have an 08 and an 09 parts MacBook that are broken. Under here is a broken one, and this one up here eats batteries because it just destroys them. And up here on top are four MacBooks that work, but they're just kind of beat up. These are the perfect ones that I, you know, made look perfect. Keyboard, you know, all that good stuff. I mean, yeah, sure, there's wear on it, but, like, you know, when we pick this off, and I completed the keyboards and all that good stuff. So this one's to factory reset, or factory reset it. Okay. Sorry about the car revving. Uh, I don't know who's revving the car. Somebody down the street probably got a car running because there is a neighbor behind me that has a few cars that he's always out there working on. Um, okay, since this one's back to factory setup, this is my shelf where I put the mint mag. Okay, <laughs> mint mag. No, this is where I put the uh, Macs that are in excellent condition, and uh, yeah, the bottom shelf is where I put all that. Even then, a couple of them that are in good shape might go on the top, but you know, the ones that are in best of all are down the bottom shelf. If this one has a battery, no, it does not. Because uh, otherwise, it was my. Uh, uh, yeah, I can't remember. I, I set it up or something like that. But yeah, I mean, I don't understand. This one here, I, I set up just for my own personal use. I I, I, I don't know. It, it might just be uh, defaulting and remembering that, you know, the original owner or something like that after a certain amount of time. I have no clue. I'm dumbfounded. That's all I can say. Which I've said that so many different times, so I'll stop. Okay, here it goes. It's in a boot. Maybe. Yep. Okay. Here's another MacBook, obviously restored it's clean everything is nice the frame okay now i'm starting to get con confused i have no clue i thought i fixed this one up for somebody before i don't actually i think the hard drive got swapped or something i really don't know i don't remember maybe i took the no because it had my name on it okay there it goes. Uh, anyway, as you can tell, uh, okay, so I have all of these uh, 08s, as you can tell, on top of 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, and only 2 of them out of the 10 have batteries. Okay, should be booting up here in a minute. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I guess I could just unplug it instead of doing this. I, I don't know. For some odd reason, I kind of feel like it's safer, even though I don't think it would make any difference. This MacBook on the bottom was... Uh, 
either my main MacBook or one I fixed up for someone I know. But they didn't want to. After they were just like, well, I mean, I didn't have a computer before. And so it's like, I don't know how to use it or put games on it. I mean, grandmother. Um, which I have nothing against it. I, mean, I don't care if she uses a MacBook or not. She never had a laptop, so she wanted to try it. And I don't blame her, seriously. It's something I wanted to try before. I, I just never had one. I finally got a network card for my Lenovo over there. My collection's coming on pretty good. So then there's the Mac monitor, and uh, over here, as you can tell, got a Mac up there, the keyboard, which belongs to that. Um, I mean, the computer down under the bed, which, sorry, you cannot see. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. I'm, I'm just going to set this down real quick. No? Um, I had YouTube on here. I made a, uh, you know, like a copy. of This would have to be the one I fixed up for my grandmother. About this Mac. No. System preferences. Okay. See what the name is. Oh my god, yeah, I don't understand. This is, yeah, this is the one I fixed up for my grandmother. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I don't understand. My MacBook is locked to the passcode. And I don't understand why. I'm mean, honestly, I, I'm speechless. I'm sorry. I keep repeating the same exact thing, so I'll just stop. Well, that was a fast shutdown. I honestly didn't think it was in the shutdown that quick. Sorry, I keep setting the phone down. I don't have a tripod for my phone. Okay, and this is my Mac. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it back on the top since I showed you guys. Okay, moving on. I have this. I do not need to plug this one in. Shouldn't have to. Let's see if it holds power. I mean, held power. I'm sorry. Okay, this one does need power. I fixed it up, I just never charged it. Okay, yep, yeah, there we go. Power. It's got a good battery, holds pretty good charge. Um, I okay, so for this MacBook here, as well as uh the other 2009s, I, I used one MacBook. Only one MacBook out of all of the MacBooks would uh go to internet recovery. So I had to wipe the hard drives and then just stick them into the other one. So yeah. It took a long time to get all that done, but now it's all done, and I have pretty much perfectly working 2009 MacBooks. And I do actually have a 2009 as well as an 08 set up for me. The O, I mean, the 09 probably be the main one I want to use. The 08, for some odd reason, just has a weird, I mean, not weird, a better look to it, I think. Anyway. Okay. And hold power. Okay, it said it was green, so it meant as meant <laughs> meant it is fully charged. It's not. Um, it's, it's not like anything like oh, it won't charge anymore. No, it does. It uh, it gets a little weird sometimes. Like, usually, you just have to let it sit off for a few minutes, and then you can turn it on and then turn it back off, and then it will just decide to start charging. This one here. This one of, one of, okay. This one's pr probably mine. This is mine. Okay. Well, while I'm waiting. I did actually install Windows on one of these, but it's not like it's on here anymore. I just did internet recovery and reinstalled Mac OS. There was no audio card drivers when I installed uh, Windows, but it actually did work with Windows perfectly fine. So, you know, if you want to run Windows on a Mac, go ahead. As long as you uh, have the option to do internet recovery, if your MacBook allows that, uh, you know, sure, go ahead. You can wipe the hard drive and do if you want. I mean, take it at your own, it's at your own risk, of course. I'm not responsible for that. If something goes wrong. These things are always a little bit slow. 
than they beat. Just seems like it. It, it doesn't help that the MacBook's about 10 years old at this point. Um, yeah. And anyway, that's my collection so far. It, it goes all the way up to here. I have to have one all the way in the, underneath the drawer. Yeah, it's not, it's not good. I, I have way too many computers. I'm going to eventually start selling some. I'll probably sell some of the Apple computers. These, yeah, I'll, I'll give some away to my uh, family members. I did not yet. Just because, yeah, so you can tell this is internet recovery. It did not play a video. So one of the MacBooks, whenever I just did like this, uh, Okay. Password. Okay, I obviously set up a passcode. But I'm pretty sure it would just skip it. Yeah, I did. See, it just skipped it. Did I hurt this off? Yep. Okay. I'll experiment with the other one, but I did not have a passcode on there. I guarantee it. Okay, um, shut down. I don't know what I would have made the passcode. I don't think I did make a passcode. Somehow it automatically locked again. I don't know how. Now this one here has been completely wiped and reinstalled, so this one's guaranteed not to go back on to, you know, yeah. Okay, so yeah, it's off. Okay. My entire bottom shelf. Now it's time to move on to the slightly damaged Max. So I cleaned these up, but they have slight damage, like minor damage. So there's a nick up here taken out instead of that front bezel. Let's go power it on while we're waiting. And down here at the bottom. It's cracked. Somebody picked on it. Some wear. And this is all yellow, which is just normal, but it has a lot more wear than... Anyway, yeah. These are the uh, slightly beat up ones. I don't know why I separated them. I just tried to make some perfect Max, you know, for example, I guess. And then the other ones just, you know, yeah. Just, I mean, they work, but they're just not perfect. I had to at least have some perfect ones. Yeah. Yep, I know I'm hurrying things up, but I only have limited time right now. I have stuff to do. So I'm just trying to make a quick video. Okay. There's damage down here. There's a crack here and a smaller crack here. Some more damage over here. A crack up here, and a crack over here, and a few cracks in between the keys. Sorry, right, I forgot about those. And there's also where somebody picked up there, and yeah. Otherwise, yeah, here we go. Clean that. Screen looks a little dim. I have a feeling it's just the uh, brightness adjustment. Or something. I hope it's not uh, true damage on the screen. I don't actually have any spare screens. The one with the dead one actually has a bad, a bad LCD in it, so. Because I traded it out in a different one. Huh. See that? It's not even bright. That is odd. Keyboard's unresponsive. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Oh wow, the brightness is all the way up. I'm just curious if we can at least get a, uh... yeah, there we go. It wasn't seated properly. Okay, so not to worry. This is a clean, fully functional Mac. Moving on to another 08. Okay. 
So as you can tell, right up here. Okay, I swore I just saw damage up here. But no. In fact, the bezel on top is the perfect condition. So as you can tell, everything seems to be clean. We have a complete keyboard, everything else. Right down here is a little mark. Scuff, which does not bother me. This does. So okay, so it's broken down here. And over here, broken over here. And now we just wait. Camera, it looks like there's markings at the bottom, but there really aren't. I think it's just the angle of the screen. Yep. Just like when you look at the angle of a screen sometimes on your laptop. If you, you know, isn't adjusted quite right to your, uh, you know, basically your eye height, you know, so you can see it clearly on the screen. Okay. Now's the time. Flip the row again. This is what I've been doing off camera. Okay. This one actually you had used to have a sticker on it said physical damage. Which meant down here mainly. I was also a little bit right here, a little bit right here, as well as the rest of them did have some, but this was what they were referring to, as well as the little crack on the corner. Um, otherwise, yeah, it did have a complete key. I just took it off, put it on with the uh, Mint Max, or I call it Mint Max. Okay, well, anyway. Otherwise, these are very clean units. This one actually does have a little bit of damage down at the bottom. A little white mark down there and over here. Yeah, there's actual damage done on the screen. Also, somebody picked up here, over here as well, a little bit, on the corner. Everywhere else seems fairly clean. There's also a little bit of damage up here. And a tiny little dot right there. Hard drives are a little loud. Okay, so this one here. Mouse, not working, so it's seven, I already got it. And so I, I uh, put this one on here and traded that out. And then I, uh, this one has a bad power switch, bad hard drive, parts only. This one actually has a bad board and bad power thing, so yeah. This one is done. Now which one's this one? Destroys batteries, so this one will power up if I plug it into the wall. So that's what I'll do. Because it doesn't have a battery in it. See this one weight? I mean, see, you know, how much that weighs. No. This one weighs less than this Mac. One of them had no sound, so that's why I did the internet recovery. And the other one had a, uh, whenever I tried to type in a code to restore it, it would not bring up the proper command line for what I was needing. This one actually has quite a few more scratches on it. So this one here, if I plug it in, it's completely dead. Okay, actually, the one that destroys batteries, I remember doing a trade. Yes, the keyboard is destroyed. It's still a little dirty. I never cleaned the screen or anything. It's popping apart down here in the bottom. This thing is complete trash. Anyway, here. Um, I'm just going to put this one right back on top, so right there. And, uh, yeah. Since it had both of the bad things, this one does not even work. Unless I trade those things out, then it will at least work between, you know, it will at least work. But, yeah, for now, unfortunately, it does not. But it would do exactly the same as the rest of them, because it has a good hard drive and everything in it. So, yeah, let me flip it around. So, the disk drive size, right? Okay, so this one here does not even boot. The little light will turn on and the LCD is bad. So, yeah. Because I did a lot of testing. The shell's, de shell's destroyed. The inside's a little dirty and gross. And so, yeah. Here it sits. Ow. Just hit the corner of my knee. Okay, there we go. White power light. Indicating that it's on.
Okay, I'm sort of confused right now, so... Okay, this one's damaged on both sides. This one's just gonna bring you to that setting. Okay, no, I'm not confused now. I just remembered my main one's on here somewhere. I don't like here. Anyway, here's the charger. Which has a cable on it instead of the, uh, you know, the wall plug. Which I don't know if it came both ways or not. I don't know. I didn't buy a MacBook brand new. Didn't have enough money for that type of stuff. Especially back then. Back in 08. Which is probably like $3,000 or something for this thing. Well, this one's still booting up here. I was just like to wrap it in a circle. Oh, here we go. Okay, there was no sound, but yeah, I gotta remember. Yeah. Okay, so I have to go ahead and open my drawer. Sorry, you cannot see. I kind of slide it underneath the midway so it doesn't hit the little sliding part underneath. So it goes like that. It does not even hit it. It's very close to it, but see, it hits up here on the sides. So where it closes normally hit. Okay. And of course, I just have all this, and I'll wrap it up off camera. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.